In this video, we will build a snowflake pipeline that calculates slowly changing dimensions. Let's understand how it works and see its capabilities. This pipeline leverages the slowly changing dimension processor that generates updates to a type 1 or type 2 slowly changing dimension by evaluating change data against master dimension data. You may use this processor in a pipeline to update slowly changing dimension data stored in a database table or a set of files. And now, let's see how to use this processor. First, you need to go to the Snowflake platform and create two new tables. Go to the Worksheet section, open a new worksheet, and select the previously created database, schema, and warehouse in the top right of the UI. Run the following query. You can see that we have created two new tables, SCD employees and SCD change. They have multiple fields. We have also inserted multiple values into these fields. If you want to see the current output in the SCD employees table, as this is the table we will be doing changes to, run the following command to check all the fields of this table. Now it's time to build our Snowflake pipeline. Move over to your Data Ops platform. Proceed to Build and Pipelines. Once you are on the Pipelines page, click Create a Pipeline. You may title it SCD Pipeline or Slowly Changing Dimension Pipeline. You can also give it a description, My SCD Pipeline. Select the Transformer for Snowflake Engine Type and Blank Pipeline. Click Next. Keep the defaults. Finally, select Open in Canvas. On the empty canvas, you can start creating a pipeline. Add a snowflake table. Scroll down the Select Origin menu and pick the snowflake table. Once the origin is added, click the snowflake table icon. Proceed to the General tab, title your origin. Read from employees. You may keep the origin type name in the description field. Next, move over to the Table tab and specify the table name as SCD Employees. We will need one more origin to run this pipeline. Click the Read from Employees origin icon and copy-paste the second origin. Under the General tab, replace the origin title with Read from Change. Next, go to the Table tab and give your origin a name, SCD Change. In order to perform the previously described changes, we will need to add the slowly changing dimension processor. Select it from the processor drop-down menu and connect the two origins to the input of the processor. You may title it Update Employees and keep the processor type name in the description field. Move to the Dimension tab. When you configure a slowly changing dimension pipeline, it's important to configure pipeline properties and all stage properties appropriately for your use case. For example, here we will have to add several settings. Type 2 must be selected from the SCD type field. Name the key fields field ID. Click Specify Version field. You can name Version in the Version field field that opens. Check the Specify Active Flag option. Set Active Flag field to Active. Choose Active Area Type to True-False by default. Click Specify Timestamp Fields. When you click the Specify Timestamp Fields, two fields will be open. The Start Timestamp field is Start Timestamp, and the End Timestamp field is End Timestamp. Current timestamp is the default for timestamp expression. 
and that is the correct expression, so we will leave it as is and move to the next field. You should select Keep for Inserted Records and Populate Values from Change Data for Updated Records from the options in the Behavior for New Fields field. Once this has been done, we can add the final element to our pipeline, a destination. Select the Snowflake Table Destination from the Destination drop-down menu. You may title it Write to Employees and leave the destination type name in the description field. Proceed to the Table tab and set the table name to SCD Employees. Next, set the Write mode to propagate changes from slowly changing dimension processor. Keep the rest of the settings as default. Now we are ready to preview our pipeline to verify it runs correctly. Click the eye symbol at the top of the screen and run a preview. You may check the preliminary output below the canvas. Finally, let's run this pipeline as a job. Go up and select Check-in. You may specify the commit message as My SCD Pipeline. Select Publish. Click Save and Create New Job. You can also specify a description and job tags if needed. Keep the rest of the settings as default. Select Start and Monitor Job. You can monitor the job status at the top of the screen. Once it turns inactive, that means that the job has finished and we can check the result. Let's go ahead and do it. Go back to the Snowflake platform, move over to the worksheet you've been working on. See the SCD table we had before we ran the pipeline. Let's compare it with the final output. To do so, run the same query, select all from the SCD employees table. Observe the changes. A slowly changing dimension pipeline compares change data against master dimension data, then writes the changes to the master dimension data, that is our SCD employees table. You can see that we have two more records in our output table, one for Tom from Atlanta and one for Greg from Costa Rica. Congratulations! You have successfully built a snowflake pipeline that calculates the slowly changing dimensions build a Snowflake SCD pipeline using our instructions, run it as a job and see the results for yourself. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.